Hi guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. I appreciate the time you're taking to watch my content. I'm Tanya and I make budget videos with little tips and tricks that I'm learning along the way. I upload videos two times a week. I really started this channel just to hold myself accountable for my budget, but having said that, I really hope it inspires you to start your own budget journey. So let's get into today's video. In today's video, we are going to do week number two cash stuffing. So I should have $568. I'll explain what this is in a minute. Okay. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, five, thirty, five, forty, five, fifty, five, sixty, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So 568. All right, so let's get started. First thing we're going to start with, of course, is my wallet. Okay, so first of all, we're going to take out any of the rollover money that we had in gas, groceries, and my personal. And then we are also going to take out the change. Oh, this is heavy, guys. I spent a bunch of money this week. <laughs> And we're going to put the change in our change bowl. That is going to make my wallet so much lighter. So that's awesome. Okay. And then we are going to restuff these envelopes for the week. Now, in gas, uh, I was gifted a $75 gift card, so that's going to go in my gas, and then I'm just going to add to it $25. Because I usually budget for $100 a week in gas. I work about 40 minutes from my house and my husband works about 30 to 35 minutes from our house. So we use a lot of money in gas. <laughs> Groceries is going to get 160, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60. Now remember that groceries pays for actual groceries, for eating out for the week, and for any household items that I need to run the house. That all comes out of groceries. And then I am going to get $20. That is my weekly allowance. Okay, that's all for my wallet. So I'm gonna set this aside. Um, okay. Now let's move on to our, I think we're going to do our long term because this time we're actually, once a month they get stuck. Why are they all messed up? <laughs> so once a month they get stuffed. Um, so we are going to 
stuff them this week. Again, these are not priorities, so they're getting very low amounts. I've already filled in the tracker on them, but they're each just going to get $2. And since this is my first time stuffing them, I have nothing to count in the envelope for you. It's just getting the actual $2 that we're putting in here this month. And like I said, this is stuff that is very low priority because we don't need it right now. I just know eventually life happens and we will need it. So I just wanted to get a jump start on saving for these items. And the good news is if I see that something is starting to wear out or starting to act up or anything like that, then what's so good about budgeting is you can start concentrating on that certain item and bulking up that envelope if you know you're going to be needing it sooner than what you thought you would. So that's always a good thing. But right now, we are good on these. Nothing's catching my eye that really is making me think they're going to be a priority anytime soon. So my long-term sinking funds are done. So now we're going to go to our variable sinking funds. This is things that each month it will, it'll look like I'm building it up, but, and then I will actually be using it throughout the whole year. So that's what these are. And I've already, again, filled in the tracker. So they're each going to be getting $5.00. There's $10 in each one. So I'm not going to take out the 10 and count with the 5. We can just do that as I'm putting it in. So now each one should have So two weeks in and now they each have $15. I officially, after this cash stuffing, will have money in every sinking fund that I have. Because I only do the um, long term once a month. So kind of glad to get a little bit of money in there. Okay. That's all for my variable sinking funds. Now these are my main sinking funds and my savings, emergency, and debt. So each one of these will be getting $10. So let me take these out and add the $10 to it. So now each one should have 35, 20, 35. Except for my gas, my heat, it's actually, oh, it's getting 10 today too. Yep, that's right. So there should be 16 in this one. So 10, 15, 16. This one is not going to be the same as the rest every week because I just kind of put in here what I have left for my budget because again, it's I won't need it until next winter. So, oh, all right, 
<laughs> Sorry about that, guys. 2035. Slowly but surely, they are getting, getting built up, which is our goal. Twenty thirty five. This just makes me happy knowing that I'm able to save up. Emergency is going to get forty two. have 87, 20, 40, 60, 85, 86, 87. That's nice for only two weeks worth of stuffing. And savings is also going to get 42. And again, it should have 87. 20, 40, 60, 85, 86, 87. And debt this week is not going to get stuffed again. So now on to my savings challenges. Roll over. That's where this money that was in my wallet comes from. I'm going to separate this money. So this week I had 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36 in rollover. So that means if I counted this right, I should have $107 already in rollover just for two weeks. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 95, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Guys, this is money that I did not budget for. It's just money that I don't spend throughout the week in my wallet. And it adds up so fast. So that gives me an incentive to not spend as much in my wallet so that I can see how much I can save. So that's exciting. Okay, let me get my highlighter here. So we are on week two of the $5 challenge. I'm trying to decide if, what way I wanted to go with it. Okay. So it should be $10. dollars. I think I'm, I'm wondering why I still have ones left. I don't think I should. Hmm. Now we have $40. $15. 
So it should have $30. 10, 25, 30. Perfect. I'm going to have to go back in my binders and see where I missed those couple of dollars. I'm thinking it might be in my long term. We'll have to look and see. And then my 104 envelope challenge will be $105. So that should be $210. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 5, 10. Perfect. This one right here, I think, is going to add up very quickly. I think I'm going to be surprised at just how fast this adds up. Okay. Yep, I have $2 left. I have a sneaking suspicion that it's one of these. So let's just go back and look. I did that one, did that one, did that one, did that one. Oh, see, looky there. Yep, it stuck together. <laughs> so the pay cushion did not get its $2. Whew, crisis inverted. That wasn't that hard, was it? <laughs> okay. Cash stuffing done for this week. Well, guys, that's the end of today's video. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. As always, feel free to like, comment, and share my videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification button. I'll see you next time. And until then, be safe and have a great day.